everybody welcome back to my channel elo for life and today i'm going to attempt to make a drawstring ponytail by sewing on by sewing it on a sewing machine uh, this is my first time ever doing anything like this so what you're going to need is you're going to need your um, mesh drawstring mesh a pair of scissors a sewing machine and a metallic sharpie i have a gold one that i just picked up from target and I also have my double stitched wefts, uh, the hair that I'm using. I just bought some cheap hair off of Amazon because I wanted to practice and, and try this. So I didn't want to buy anything expensive in order to do this. So I wanted to make a curly, kind of kinky-like uh, ponytail, drawstring ponytail. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just simply going to take that mesh drawstring and I'm going to put it on a white piece of paper because I don't want to mark up my... Uh, sewing desk and I'm simply just going to mark out the lines on where I want to place those tracks and I'm going to do that until I get all the way to the top of the mesh cap now by me doubling my tracks I wanted the uh, ponytail to be as full as possible so for the purpose of this that's why I double those tracks um, I know that when you go buy a drawstring ponytail, those synthetic ones from the beauty supply store, uh, a lot of times those are single track, I believe. And I was look actually looking for my drawstring ponytail that I had bought a while ago and I couldn't find it. So I'm just trying to remember some things off the top of my head. Now when you are doing this, <clears throat> marking out your, um, when you're marking out your lines, you don't have to have very wide um, spacings in between and I would not suggest that even though I'm doubling it because I want as much hair as possible you because this mesh cap is very meshy and very stretchy you're just simply going to want to you're going to try to get your lines close as possible and I think for this I had I think I had about nine about nine lines worth a double wefted track on here um, and you don't also you don't want to stretch out the mesh cap don't stretch it while you're marking and definitely don't stretch it while you are sewing in the process so we're just going to keep doing that till I get to the very top of this mesh cap Now, voila easy enough right that was so easy oops I accidentally dropped my uh, mesh cap <laughs> my little mesh uh, drawstring but that's just me I want to show you guys that the uh, gold metallic really stands out on the black mesh and that's just me counting to see how many rows or how many uh, tracks that I'm going to be laying on this cap so next what I'm going to, what I've already done, I didn't show you, is me showing, sewing on my first track. And when you sew on your track, you guys, um, make sure you sew completely to both ends. If you notice that on one of my ends, I didn't sew all the way to the very end. And I was like, oops, my bad. But you know, you don't want to sew on the drawstring itself. So try to sew, um as close as possible to that drawstring as close as you can get it so like i said this is my first time doing it so i'm trying to do the best that i can now, i'm just trying to focus in on my sewing machine here so you guys can see a little bit more better however 
I didn't do such a great job when it comes down to wanting to stitch. So we're going to improvise here a little bit. This is just me sewing on the next track, uh, double track, or my, um, on my mesh cap. And I do not uh, flip over when I do this. I do cut the end. So every end I do cut. And just make sure that when you are getting to the very end of your track, when you start your track and at the very end that you go that you do a reverse stitch so you go back a few a few stitches and then you come back over to the middle of the track and then you when you get to the very end of that track then do another reverse stitch just so just so that you know you are actually uh, making sure that that track is going to hold on to that cap I am using a zigzag stitch and the Sewing so machine that I'm using is a Project One Runway sewing machine. I have a couple of sewing machines at home, but I decided to buy me a new sewing machine because um, the one I have is a brother. I have both brothers, so they're both brothers, and I have a beginner-friendly machine that I've had for years. So I wanted to upgrade and get me a new sewing machine. So the stitch stitches on here that I'm using is a zigzag stitch I will leave the um, stitch pattern if you do have a Broadway I mean not a Broadway a project runway sewing machine I will leave the stitching setup below in my description so check that out on what that is but it was very simple to do this y'all I mean to make this drawstring ponytail it was it wasn't hard at all whatsoever and it really didn't take a lot of time to do so and that's just me checking out to make sure I still have my elasticity in my uh, mesh cap so I don't want to lose that I don't want to lose the elasticity because you know you have to get this mesh cap over the ball of your own head and that's just me cutting out all the strings away from the edges so you also want to make sure you do that because you don't want to get that um, those strings caught up into your sewing machine and into the hair as you're sewing you don't want to do that either and by this time I have done like my third roll of a stitch and I'm just pulling it away from the sewing machine I'm checking it out to make sure everything looks okay and I do that and I rinse and repeat and do that throughout the entire process also, when you're sewing, you do not, you want to make sure that your hair is facing on the outward of the sewing machine and not on the innards. Reason being is because your sewing machine has only just a little bit of space or a little bit of rounded space inside of the sewing machine. So you just don't want to get any hair caught up in that sewing machine. And as you can see now, I finally got to the top of this uh, mesh, mesh drawstring uh, cap. And... As you can see, there's a little bit of space at the very top, but we'll, we'll make something work. You'll see that in a minute. And I'm just checking out the spacing in between my cap. Not my cap, but you know, my mesh, drawstring mesh. I will also leave in the description on where I actually got this mesh drawstring from because I did get it from DH Gate. And I have to go back into my account to remember the seller because I haven't been in DH Gate for a while. And like I said, I'm just checking out to make sure everything's okay. I did pull on the straw string to make sure everything is pulling like it should. And nothing is holding it at, holding back from the, um, the stretch. So we definitely want to make sure that, because we don't want to sew onto that, onto that string, the draw string. That's what makes the draw string, right? So, as you can see here that, um, I pulled it in and... Things are looking pretty good here. It's uh, and I'm pulling it apart. Pull. I wanted to make sure to see how close I'm able to get my drawstring when I do actually pull it and put it on top of my head. And that's just me testing out the drawstring. So what you're going to see now is me and I'm running my hands across because I want to show you guys that what I'm going to do is take another piece of my double track and I'm going to actually sew a piece on the other side and the reason why I'm doing that because as you see that me I want to hide that track that's at the very top 
of the drawstring. And if you look at any other synthetic drawstrings, you will see that that's what they do. They actually sew another piece on the opposite side of your mesh. And they what they do is they'll flip it over and uh, somehow press it down so that you don't see that top track on the opposite side. So after I pretty much done that, and if I can get back into camera here, that's me just sewing it on that on the opposite side of my drawstring. And I, what I did was I just took my flat iron and pressed it down. Press it down, did a real press down so it will cover that other track on the other side. So when you pull it, you don't see that top track on the other side. And that was pretty much it, you guys. I mean, it was very simple. And it didn't take that long at all. I, I went ahead and combed out. Because this is supposed to be some uh, kinky curly type of uh, hair. So I went ahead and just combed out the curls that was on this mesh cap. I'm not mesh cocky call it mesh drawstring and once you pull it together and look at it and look at the spacing and everything you can see that now you cannot see those spacing in between the tracks everything is full it's fluffy it is soft uh the hair that i use this is actually eight inch of some kinky uh hair that i had stuffed in the drawer i actually had a whole bundle um i did use almost a whole bundle and i wish i would have showed you all how much i had left but using doubling the track definitely helps to make your drawstring uh ponytail full so i would definitely suggest that and if you are going to single space it make sure you put those tracks on top of each other if you're going to double space it and Right here, I'm just showing you that I'm going to hand sew, I'm going to hand sew some wig combs inside of my cap. Because that's how it is in the regular drawstring, right? And I'm going to just simply do that on both sides. But all in all, you guys, this was so easy. I absolutely love how it turned out, especially for it being my initial attempt. So if you all like what you saw today, go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned to my next video. Thank you all so much.